All right, so real quick, I'm going to talk to you guys about these Harbor Freight uh, Pro Line impact sockets. And I'm going to tell you guys what I'm using these for. And you're probably not going to believe me when I tell you what I'm using them for. Um, I've actually used, been using these things uh, for the last two years when we go out on the road doing locations. I've been using them around the house um, for my regular shop use but when we get on the road we use this machine right here to break bolts specifically all I do is break bolts with this thing so we go to a location a half inch redhead in the ground and we tighten them up and just keep running it tight until they break off this socket right here has broken probably six seven hundred bolts okay we've you had to use the one inch I did a five eighths one day we had five eighths um, redheads and we were using we were using that's the the one inch socket and we broke those with this with this machine so this is the harbor freight earthquake impact as well as these sockets so what i'm going to what i'm talking to you guys about right now is the sockets themselves um are these as good as any major tool brand like snap-on um or uh, mac um i'm gonna say that these are just as good as quality as any major tool brand I've ever used. Now, um, I, I won't tell you that on the cheaper Harbor Freight ones. I don't know. I don't have any of them. But these in particular, if you see these have this little groove in them, these are the Pro Line. They're a little more money than the regular cheap lines. But these things are super, super hard. I don't know what they make them out of. I'm not sure um, how good the steel is. But I'm going to tell you right now, I've broken 600, 700 bolts, used this machine, specifically abused this machine to do something because it's the fastest way to do it. Like I said, I've tried to, in my other video, on this, a review on this machine after two years of use, I'll even show you in my first video that um, I have used this machine specifically to break bolts and uh, it does it no problem you just start tightening that bolt up until it snaps off and the reason I do that first is cutting them off with a cutoff wheel or knocking them back and forth with a hammer if you ever broken a red hat off a lot, a lot of times you can just take the first of all take the nut off and then just bend it back and forth until the red head breaks right um, these ones here if you bend it back and forth about 15 times it breaks now uh, you know or if you cut it halfway through with a cutoff wheel you can get it to come off but this is the problem we're running into um, when I try and loosen up the bolts, a lot of them are rusted. They don't want to come off and um, you end up with that problem. And then it also takes longer to take the nut off and, you know, cut halfway through it with a cutoff wheel and, and, and then try and snap it off with a hammer um, than it does for me to tighten it until this thing breaks the bolt. So that's how powerful this machine is. And, and that's how strong these sockets are. I mean, we're using it to break bolts, and I have not had a warranty yet on this thing. I've been just snapping off bolts, snapping off bolts, and we've done probably 800 bolts with this thing, and not one has broken the socket. So, anyway, if you're thinking about buying uh, some impact sockets um, from Harbor Freight, um, and you want, definitely get the Pro Line ones. I don't know about the cheap ones, but the Pro Line, man, these things are just as good as any other tool brand I've ever used. I'll talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.